You're welcome back to the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. It's time for you to take. It's time for us to take you back to uh, what happened today in history. And quickly, we'll be looking at 1964 and today in history. Now, in 1964, October 14, to be precise, Martin Luther King Jr. wins the Nobel Prize or Peace Prize, uh, and that happened. African American civil rights leader Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. has awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for his nonviolent resistance to racial prejudice in America. Now, at age 35, uh, the Georgia born minister was the youngest person ever to receive the award. He advocated a nonviolent civil disobedience to racial segregation. In 1963, he led his massive march on Washington and which he delivered his very famous, very, very famous speech, I Have a Dream, that particular address. In 1964, the civil rights movement achieved two of its greatest success. And in October of that year, uh, King was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize. He donated the Peace Prize money that was valued $54,600 to the civil rights movement. Now, Martin Luther King openly criticized the U.S. government involvement in Vietnam and turned his effort to win in economic rights for poor Americans. Uh, that is really, really commendable of him. I would say he was really, really a selfless leader. Absolutely. And I'll just quickly mention, you know, in um, 1964, the Nobel Peace Prize um, came with a $54,000 uh, prize. Uh, in, uh, to date, uh, it's worth about a million. Uh, so if you get the Nobel Prize, you know, you get paid a, a million one plus, you know, so it's you know, just like and, and just, to let the, just to let the amount go. Just imagine that. I mean, the, back then, 54,000, 1964, I'm sure $54,000 was a lot, you know. So. I'm also saying that at this point in time, let's fast forward to now and uh, asking how many persons would really like to let that, to let that go. go. Uh, well, not very many. Not and very Nigeria. many. You know, yeah, not. <laughs> <laughs> Not very many, you know, but, but, you know, it's also, you know, very, very dependent on the persons that we're speaking about. You know, any person who deserves a Nobel Peace Prize, you know, obviously has done a lot of work that doesn't necessarily re require a financial, you know, reward, you know, hasn't necessarily lived his life um, because of what financial, you know, gains that he will get. So I'm sure that there are people who can still turn down, you know, things like that. Um, or maybe donate, you know, the, the prize to charity. So they wouldn't necessarily turn down the, pre the um, Nobel Prize, but they might turn the, um, the uh, or they might donate the, you know, uh, financial um, wins to charity. So I'm sure they, they definitely do exist. Um, I'm not sure, I, I don't want, want to mention this, but I remember that, uh, I think it was Chino Achebe or someone, you know, who rejected some. Let me not go too far so I don't make a mistake. Right. But anyway, um, in 1964, it was worth 54000 2021 is worth a million one hundred thousand plus um, dollars. Just quickly throw that in. Stay with us. Uh, we'll take a short break. When we come back, our first major conversation for today, we're talking about the possibility of a third force. It's just about a year plus to the next general elections. And we're talking uh, what really, you know, are the possibilities of uh, a third force having any relevance whatsoever. If you, of course, have been following the political space lately, you must have seen a few of these people starting to spring up here and there. That's our next conversation coming up right here on The Breakfast. <laughs> 